my first one night stand it's uh, with a <laughs> black guy and i think about his dick, like okay it will be big no it didn't work how big was it show us like that how'd you meet him uh, in the club how did he pick you up i just wanted and was like okay we can go have you ever cheated before yeah two times and what do you think about sex on the first night it's okay it's okay yeah it's okay what's your body count Seven? Seven. <laughs> Seven. Okay. Maybe. I'm 21, but okay. it's not that much, That's I think. She's saying it was like this. I refuse to believe it was like this. It's hard as hell being a black man. The expectation that is put upon us black, the expectation that we have to live up to is crazy. Because it is said that all black men are running around with the gorilla arms between their legs. Now imagine you about to have a one night stand with a white girl. Her imagination is going crazy. She's like, oh my God, King Kong is finally. Maybe I shouldn't say King Kong, but her imagination is going wild. And now you might not even be small, but you don't have the gorilla arms. You might be a, a good 7.5. You might be a six. I don't mean to be calling out them sizes out there, but you might be a 7.5, you might be a six. According to Google, that's above average. Now you whip out your 7.5 or your six, and she disappointed because the standard created for black men is 10 and above. So she was expecting to see a goddamn missile when you pull down your drawers. It ain't right. Yo, I have a real f***ing dilemma. I just left the most lashes, eyebrow spot. Y'all see me? I was feeling cute. Just wait till I hit that concealer. After. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> These kids asking for money, selling water, I usually give to the water boys. I'm like, okay, cool. They said that they don't. Um, you never give money to the water boys. The water boys are the same motherfuckers that's breaking into people's cars on their off days when they have their mask on, they carjacking people. Yeah, I'm not giving you a dollar for nothing. I'm not giving you $2 for nothing. Go get a job. Um, I didn't have cash, so they said that they had cash app. I asked them for his cash app name, didn't type in fully. Oh my God, I see them right there. Wow. Basically, these motherfuckers just scammed me out of $500. They just scammed me out of $500 on my cash app. So now I'm low-key chasing a group of little black boys down, and everybody's telling me I should call the cops, but I do not want to call the cops on a group of 14-year-old black boys. I do not want to do that. But I see y'all right there. One of them. I know you know at least one of them. You would not be out here selling with somebody you don't know. No, we don't know that. We don't know that. Because if I wanted to, I could have all of you all arrested. I would. I did not want to call the cops on these kids, and I didn't. But the fact that they just took $500 from me, someone who was trying to bless them, bro, that is ridiculous. Like this, I'm fing you up. I'm keeping it 100. I'm fing you up. She's stupid. Call the police. I'm not calling the cops on these little black boys. Them little niggas. They don't care about you. They parents don't care about you. I don't have no sympathy for these kids, bro. The type of stuff that I see they do now, they starting young. I've seen these 14, 15 year olds running down on grown ass men with glocks with switches on it. I'm having sympathy for you for. You can't tell them nothing. They don't, they not listening to nobody. They ain't looking for no direction. They figure, oh, I'm getting money. I can finesse my way through life. And they don't care who they hurt in the process. Oh, damn. God damn. <laughs> Wait a minute, where, where that deep ass voice came? I had somebody complain in my comment section about the trans videos. And I'm going to be honest with you, dog. I'm not out here selecting trans videos to watch. 
people are sending me these shits, I'd be just as surprised as y'all. Now that I'm looking at the thumbnail, the features are a bit strong. But when I clicked the video, I was looking at I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. How old are you? 23. Do you think men and women could be friends? No. Why not? Because I'm a girl and I've had man friends. Well, what are some of the things that happen? I mean, you might not find them attractive, but hey, if you guys are hanging out, drinking, you know, that one night, you guys probably going to end up doing something you're not supposed to. All it takes is one time. You and your male best friend, you and your male friend, y'all are familiar. The next step after being familiar is knocking boots. I know some of you ladies are going to be, no, it don't necessarily have to be like that. Let me ask you a question, because I know some of y'all may have been in this situation before. You and your boyfriend break up for whatever reason. You out here dating, but you don't want to increase your body count. So for the meantime, in between time, who you getting wood from? Somebody familiar. It might be your ex-boyfriend that you just broke up with, depending on how y'all broke up. Or it might be an acquaintance from before. Or if you don't have that, you might finally bring up one of your friends from the G League. And you might give him a 10 day contract because he's familiar. Ever had that happen to you? No, but I know many people that have. So you think all of your guy friends would sleep with you at any point? For sure. Why isn't it like the other way around? Because you guys are easy. But why is that the case? I could say your hair looks good and you'd want to. That is true. Do you think men get as much validation as you do as a If a chick like too many pictures on your Instagram, you automatically think she want the sauce. Woman. No. I mean, it's a, I don't know. Girls are whores, so. That all. So could that be why men get praised for getting multiple women? It could be, yeah. Hmm. How old are you? I said, is, is the guy who wrote monkeys on my receipt? Is he available? I want to talk to him. Um, no, sir. I can't have Monkeys? Is he still here? He's leaving. Okay. I'm going to make sure that this video goes viral. But this is unacceptable. Yes, sir. I, I agree. Yeah. I'm sorry that that happened. So I just want to make sure. I got you on camera, too. So him putting down monkeys, do you, do, would you feel offended by that? Yes, I, I understand. Yes, I understand. Okay. Yeah. Somebody wrote monkey on my receipt. I'll feel some type of way, too. But my brother, your anger is being directed at the wrong person. Okay. So what's going to happen from here? Is he going to be terminated? So I'm, I'm going to give you my store manager's, uh, okay. our manager's number. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chick-fil-A is crazy. This type of behavior happening at Chick-fil-A is crazy. You know Chick-fil-A is known for their customer service. On the flip side, I've seen somebody in the comment section say that this man's name is Marquise. And the employee thought he said monkeys. Do with that what you may. Y'all need to take accountability. If you know you got that magic stick... You need to give a little bit. Not all on the first try. Not not all on the first try. Because now you mad at me because I know where your parents work at. I know where your parents live. I know where your baby mother's at. I know their stinking links and their boyfriends. Because I just <laughs> had to double check. <laughs> had to double check and make sure you wasn't dipping and dabbing. But now you mad at me. For what? For what? Because you had to prove something on the first, first time? As he should. As he should. Y'all need to take accountability. No. Y'all need to get that shit out in portions. No. No. That first time y'all knocking boots, that's like a job interview. My boy, you put your best foot forward. You put your best foot forward. You touch her soul if you could.
Don't go in there half-stepping because you don't know if you're going to get another chance. The way these young ladies are set up now, especially nowadays, they never satisfied. They're going to try to find something, some type of... Y'all see Pop the Balloon. They're going to try to find something. So, brother, she let you walk through the door, dish. Knock all the pictures off the walls. If you have the ability to, if the Lord blessed you, and you able to go through the front door and walk through the kitchen, knock the dishes out the cabinets too. Turn the faucet on and don't turn it off. Run her water bill up. 